with the beat. You be the rhythm and I be the beat. Then I'll be the rhythm and you be the beat. And I'll be the short life you and I be. Love is the harmony, desire is the key. Love is a symphony. Come sing some with me. Hey Estelle, look at this. Happy birthday, Pog. Oh, thank you all so much. This is such a surprise, really. I never would have dreamed. Pog, you planned this whole thing. So surprised. Pog. So surprised. Pog, it's the mayor. How many times do we have to go over this? You are literally right in front of me. I know it's you. Hello, Mayor. I'm so glad you could make it. I wouldn't have missed it for the whole wide world. Hey, Geekbeat, can I talk to you for a second over there? Are you fucking kidding me? It's my birthday. Simmer down and eat your bacon cake. I'll be right back. So what did you want to talk about, Mayor? Well, Geekbeat, we've known each other for a while. Uh-huh. Well, I think it's only a natural to have these sorts of feelings. Mayor, please, I just... I was... I was wondering Look, if... I'm flattered. I really am. But we've known each other for so long. You and I tried this before in high school, remember? I think we work better oh, as Oh, no, friends. no, no. That's not what I meant. You, you, you got me all wrong. Gross. What I meant was Peggy Corn was in the woods the other day and discovered an interesting... What is going on out here? Pog, I asked you to wait inside. And I'm glad I didn't. I can't believe this. You're asking her out today of all days? It's my birthday, you should be asking me out. Pog! Do you have any idea how long I was in labor? Pog, you booted up in an abandoned lab. You don't know how long it took to make you. Long enough for me to be as awesome as I am. Am I interrupting something? Oh, hey, Estelle. Hi, girl. We just wanted to bring Pog as present. OMG, thank you. I'm so excited. The fuck is this? I don't know. Carl and I found it while deep diving. We thought it was pretty interesting. Thank you, Estelle. Is this a button? <gasps> They're beautiful. They? Gender neutral pronouns. Learn about them. What's your name, my dear? Meep? Hop. That's a lovely name. Where are you from, friend? Meep? They say that they've been traveling a long way. There's a video message saved on their hard drive. They need a player. Can't they just plug into your analog? Geek feet. They haven't even bought me dinner yet. Come here, little buddy. Video playback initiated. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? My party has crashed. I'm all that's left. I'm leading the assault on King Industries, but we haven't found the... Please, if you're out there, anyone, please. I need you to take the coordinates and... Best birthday ever. Do you know where that guy is? Meep. Hop said that they got separated, then followed the train here and it stopped in the forest. They said they were looking for help, but then they got tossed into the ocean. They don't remember. That's what I wanted to tell you, Geek Beat. Peggy Corn found the wreckage of a derailed train in the woods. It ran off a track that no one's ever seen before. Well, Peggy Corn can lead us to the train, and we'll follow its path backwards and try to rescue that guy in the message. What's King Industries? Well, I guess we'll have to figure that out when we get there tomorrow. Let's get this show on the road. Meep. Well, I guess I'm about ready. Hey, sis. Yeah? Be careful. What happened here? Meep. Hope says the train was carrying a bomb, and their team was trying to derail it before it reached its destination. Is the bomb still active? Nah, they said they took care of it. That's why it ran off the rails. Where was it going? Hope says it was heading to a human encampment. But there aren't any more humans. <sighs> Meep. Survivors. So, do we follow the track backwards to the source of the bomb, or forward to find the humans? Hope says their team was struck down. But maybe there was a survivor. That guy. Then we should find him. The tracks veer off here. Let's go this way. Take on me. Meep, meep, meep. 
Take me on. Meep, meep, meep. Uh, I'll be gone in the day or uh, two. Shut the fuck up, Pog. Something attacked those other robots, then they could still be out here, and they'll hear you, asshole. What was that? There's something in the bushes. Okay, th this could be it. Get ready. Careful. Careful. Ah! Nah! Geekby? Don't. Move. Well, my legs are busted pretty good, so I couldn't if I wanted to. How do you know my name? Who are you? I've known about you my whole life cycle. I've been looking everywhere for you. It's a bit of a long story, though. Meep? Ha! I'm glad to see you made it intact. You know him? They're my hovering omniferous protector. Much like how you have the Panoptic Guardian. Hop, initiate repair protocol 26A. Please, I need to know, who are you and how do you know us? My name is Dork Rhythm, and you and I were made for each other. Hey buddy, not so fast. I don't even know you. Oh, <laughs> no, I didn't make myself clear. We were designed at the same time to complete each other's protocol. We have the same makers. If that's true, then why is there a star on your antenna? While you geek beat, and I'm assuming the secondary identical system, all have the heart sigils? Our creators were partners. You and I were designed to thwart King Industries. What's that? The catalysts behind the zombie infestation. There aren't any zombies to beat. They died out when they ran out of heat. The problem before us is twofold. The zombies exist due to two conditions. The human bodies act as hosts to a parasite that controls them. The parasite is a mutation of the fluke worm in the immortal jellyfish. Once the parasite gets old enough, the aging process reverses, and the zombies go into a stasis while the parasite ages out of its polyp stage. Soon, they'll grow and wake, and the zombies will be rejuvenated. As for food source, the parasites are resourceful. They don't need brains, they just need hosts. They'll seek new human bodies, and they will find them. Are you telling me that there are survivors? Quite a few. All in hiding across all corners of the world. The head of King Industries has been sending the comatose zombies to their locations. When the zombies wake, the infestation will ravage the world and the survivors worse than it did before. The head of King Industries is still alive? Indeed. And he's capable of controlling the parasites and thus the zombies by using radio frequencies to stimulate the nervous systems into doing whatever he wants. The train. It had zombies on it, didn't it? Your team implanted the bomb to destroy the train and to stop it from getting to the survivors. What went wrong? The zombies woke up and took my traveling party off guard. It's only a matter of time before... Well... Before they all wake. That's why I need you. Explain. You were created to incubate a serum that would reverse the neurological and degenerative damage done by the parasites. You have the ability to bring back the fallen humans. My protocol is a frequency jammer that would override the signal James King uses. It would act as a self-destruct button to the parasites, and your target system would be able to follow the frequencies back to the parasites and administer the cure. Together we can stop this, but only together. Our creators separated so we'd have the best chance of reaching completion. Mine fell victim shortly after I completed, Yours was destroyed before she could complete you. Thankfully, Pog had an auto-set feature and was there to finish the job. I think I'd notice if I had some sort of serum cooking inside of me, let alone enough of it to cure the whole planet. It's concealed and will be until the proper moment. Then it will administer itself. It doesn't take much. There. All better. So you're telling me, if we all go to this king guy, then we can bring back the humans? It's what we were made to do. Wait, how do you expect us to just believe you? You can choose whatever music we listen to on the way. Well, Geek Beat, I believe him. I guess we have no choice. Hey, I just met you. Meep, meep, meep. And this is crazy. Meep. But let's kill zombies. Meep, meep, and eat... Veggie bacon, maybe. What's that? King Skyscraper. 
I say we go in guns blazing and get me get down! Hug! The zombie army's awake and they're armed! King must be controlling them. We have to move. But Pog! He can be repaired, but if we all go down, there will be no hope. Run! I can't keep this up for much longer. The six minute zombie talks never prepared me for this. We're almost there. We just... Are you okay? My system is crashing. I'm not gonna make it. Here, take my data. The audio jammer will transfer to your auto load processes. You just have to get to King's Tower, and your head will take care of the rest. Pop will stay here and nurse me back, and then we'll fix Pop. You have to go now. Data transfer initiated. I can't do this. Not alone. You're not alone. Transfer complete. Shut down. Take care of them. Meep. Ah, welcome back, little bot. I was wondering when you'd find your way back. When I last saw you, <laughs> you were just a little prototype. Mm. Don't be so nervous. You've got your start here, after all. Behind these walls. You're home now. This isn't a home. Perhaps I should call it a monument. A monument to suffering and the human condition. <laughs> Not that either of us would know much about the human condition at this point. I know that you destroyed them. When I began this corporation, it was with the intent of preserving and protecting life. Everything is finite, but nothing had a better chance of beating death than human beings. What you see before you is the epitome of the life's work of the entire race of man. What? A pile of bones on a filthy chair? <laughs> I like your pluck. The initiative that made me what I am is the same as the ones that created those creatures, and subsequently created you. A series of mutations meant to take an aging body and reverse the process. Unfortunately, the parasites got a little out of hand. They multiplied faster than I could stop them, and contributed to the rapid degeneration of the entire human race. The parasites, however, have the potential to be truly immortal. Our bodies may be bones and sinew, but our brains remain perfectly preserved and intact. Memories, emotions, who we are, they will last forever. You're lucid. If you're a zombie, that means the parasite is in you too. Why aren't you like the others? I hold all the shiny keys. You will never be able to jam my signal now. The tower was launched into the sky back when your creators tried to bring me down the first time. And soon I will be able to take the parasite overseas to the rest of the planet and flesh out every survivor from this continent and all others. I've been attempting to control life for some time. Only the only specimens who will listen to the frequencies I emit are the fish flukes and pandas. <laughs> but of course you remember my giant scout from the forest. Giant evil panda. Once I knew there were survivors, I loaded the train and a ship. Both crashed. Your friend's party found one, and you found the other. The SS fish flew from the Gordian Worm Grotto. I sent that idiotic vampire to distract you from the rubble, so you wouldn't track me down sooner. At this point, it is unstoppable. Even if you killed me, the control in my crown will only work for me. The parasite will spread and spread. There will be no more survivors. I have to try. Well, come at me, bro. James King detected. Auto loader go. <laughs> Fool. You can't kill me. I am no longer human. Now administering serum. <laughs> I have to get to that satellite. Space! He said he launched it from here. I have to find a rocket or a launch pad or something. Oh. This will have to do.
No. No! Gig beat! Gig beat! Auto protocol initiated. Now launching. Hold on. Sequence begin. Operation save us all. Merry Christmas, Geek Beat. Merry Christmas. Okay, everyone. Open your presents. You first. Oh, dark rhythm. What's this? It's our makers. The night they got engaged. And there's the ring he used. Uh, I... I... Don't jump the gun! I just thought you'd like something of theirs to hold on to. Thank you. Um... Dork Rhythm, I was actually wanting to talk to you about something. Yes? I was wondering if you'd like to... Meep? Are you sure, sweetheart? Meep? All right. <clears throat> Everyone, <laughs> I have an announcement to make. Pog, I'm kind of in the middle of something. You can't possibly make every single thing about you. You've got to start cutting us some slack. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... I didn't mean for it to come out that... I didn't mean for it to come out so meanly. What is it? Are you okay? Meep? I'm pregnant. Oh.